time to learn something new about the weather. And one of my favorite things is when we get questions from children. That's right. The weather kids wondering when it's going to warm up. <laughs> that's <laughs> not this kid. That's this not the kid. question. This kid says that, right? <laughs> when? We'll save that one for later. You'll have to record yourself and send it in. <laughs> I'll do that for him. I'll record it and you can send it in. Uh, <laughs> that would be great. Uh, uh, could you dress the part, too? Uh, yeah, perfect. I have my hat on sideways. Yeah, uh, <laughs> okay, great. Well, okay, we do have a weather whiz kid, and here is the question for tonight. Hi, I'm Jared Carlisle. I'm going to River Glen Junior High, and I have a question. How do these storms just come out of nowhere? Perfect. Great question. Let's do it one more Great time. question, Jared. How do the storms just come out of nowhere? Because you know, in the winter time, everything just kind of approaches. You see it coming. The sky's gray much of the day, and then it just gets grayer, and then all of a sudden it starts to rain or snow. But boy, in the springtime, anything can happen. And today we had sunshine early. Now we're getting showers coming in, and you can get the thunderstorms popping up. But I talked a little bit about this last night. When the sun. When you get air to rise, it causes precipitation eventually if there's enough moisture around. And what happens in the spring is you've got still cold air aloft. That's key because if you have cold air aloft and then the sun heats the ground and warms that ground up, you have a big difference. And warm air likes to rise. And so that warm air is much warmer than the cold air aloft. And so it just tends to flip flop. And that air rises quickly and it'll do it in pockets. So you'll get a path of a downpour right here. You'll get no rain at all here. You'll get the path of a downpour right here as well. And so that's what we talk about scattered showers or sometimes they call them popcorn showers. They just pop up all over the place. And so if you're standing here, you might get no rain, then all of a sudden the shower comes in out of nowhere and then it's gone. Today, a little bit more widespread rain showers around, but we get fronts that come through as well. And I mentioned this yesterday, you got rising air currents near the ground and right near that front, they'll pop up as well. So you get more organized showers along fronts. We had a front go through during the day today. But I think the key to Jared's question is, they pop up so quickly, it's because of the springtime, because of what we call uneven heating. You get sunshine heating in one spot a little bit more than another spot, and that rain shower will pop up, maybe even a little pea-sized hail mixed in there as well, or a thunderstorm. If you've got a question, maybe you can record it on your smartphone, send it on in to us at uh, weather at fox9now.com. Roland, that's where you need to send uh, <laughs> I'll get my smartphone. <laughs> I'm going to have to live up to that one. All right, I'll come up with something. Thanks, Scott. Millions of passwords. From